What is going on, everybody? Still a little sick. Almost over it. So, what is going on for today? Well, we got some heavy, heavy rains last night. I just got back from the gym. Gotta stay fit. And today is, mm, well, at least this video. This is going to be more of a how-to. So, as we just seen, I bought a Janelle. And uh, it's an older model, but let's go ahead. Let's take an in-depth look at what's going to happen here. So, this is it. Front deck. Had seat removed, and we can see we've got, that's got to come out. So I'll be doing a lot of fiberglass work. Let's see up in the deck. I'm going to run a battery. Battery here, anchor, and this is all going to be a casting platform. I know they have dry storage here. So we got some more storage here. This is not a lot of room, as you can tell. I'm One of these sides, I'm going to store poles down, and I, I did want to put like a grab bar here. Um, but you kind of have to step over this, so it's in the way. I could cut it out, but I like that it's storage, so for now, I'm just going to kind of keep it. I might get like a T-bar. I might get like a T-bar, put it over on this side, or whatever side I put the T-bar on, that's what side I'll put poles on. And I want to run... Uh, four poles, two going so this way. I'll have two coming in this way, and then two going in that way, and then maybe just this other side. Nothing back here. This is coming out. This wood's all rotted. Ugh, gross. And that seat's gonna be cut out. Rear casting platform. We're gonna have a gas tank, a little bilge area. Oh goodness, that's not good. Clean all that out. Ugh, look at all that gunk. Gross. And uh, so, transom totally rotted. So as you can see, man, look at all that flex. But the uh, outside part looks still pretty good and intact. Uh, plan on sanding it down. It's got this camo coloring, and all the markings for the manufacturer are gone. So it's an older boat. Somebody was using it for duck hunting, and they stripped everything off of it. But I'm going to sand it all down. And I'm going to repaint it. So I'm getting rid of that green, getting rid of that camo, and I'm thinking aquamarine, maybe? Aquamarine or aquamarine with a uh, either that, the real shiny aquamarine, or a uh, aquamarine with some type of metallic flake in it, but it will be a gel coat. So, but the whole reason why we're here today is the trailer that this is sitting on, as you can see. Not bad shape, but it fits. I do probably need to rebuild the bunks eventually, extend them all the way up, and bring them back to the transom a little bit more. But I don't have a wheel, as you can see on here. No wheel. Got my little winch here, but it's sitting on this, like, homemade little thing. It's got a ball on it. The guy I bought it from made that, which is kind of cool, so he gave it to me. But So today we will be putting a wheel on there so I can move it. Here is my wheel, all the tools necessary, 7-8 socket, and, oh, there it is, 7 8 wrench. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, so that way I can move it, so I can start working on it, because right now it's in the front of my yard, and it's not level, just not going to work. So, let me get everything set up, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to have to mount this on this side. Just got to figure out where we want to mount it. And see this wheel swings up too, so I might want to maybe put it there. Yeah. Get it there. That might work. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna do that. Got our trusty bolts. Right now we just need two three each of the holes. Get in. 
Now these came with lock rings. Slide those on. Don't want it coming undone. And then we're just gonna I think that's how this goes. I might have put this on upside down too, but all in all, I don't think that's gonna matter. And we're gonna slide one. Here. Hopefully. Okay. A little bit, a little bit difficult to do it by yourself, but fairly, fairly simple. Okay. Pretty much slide them through these holes, and that'll just keep them in place. And then mainly, it's just going to be positioning it where you want it. I think this is good. So, so we got here. So this is how it's gonna look. We got our things on there. I might have these on backwards. The uh, directions was this. This is my directions. So mount trailer near coupler, leaving no space for jack to operate for mounting. Uh, put rotating plate. Insert bolts in the right direction. Keep holes in the bracket and straps in a straight line. Ex examine operation. Rotate crank bolt clockwise. Make sure it works. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And no pictures. So. Oh. Okay. No. We got a picture there. Yeah. So I've got them on right. All right. So let's set this back over here. I'll crank it down, and then we will check to make sure that it is in there correctly. Impacts are awesome. Uh oh. Oh, I, uh... bit at a time, I guess. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, I don't know if I can reach this side. Yeah, I can't. My goodness, there's a big old wasp in that. Okay. Not cool. You see that right there? Yep. Oh, oh no. No. We ain't having that. Ah. Where the did he? Ah. 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 Where'd he go? Get him. Stinging insects suck. Where is he? Whew. Okay. So this actually needs to come up. That's not going to work. So, let me map the area down. Okay, so these little areas here are going to have to be filled full of foam or something so because even the guy I bought it from he had problems with 
wasp too. And uh, no thanks. These bolts are too long on the bottom. I think I, hang on, I think I put it on. Okay, so, I had it on wrong. There we go. Okay. So we're just going to kind of like get these hand on there. Let's see. Do them one at a time. My uh, stuff here. Let's look, that looks a little bit better. So, get a deep socket. I'm running into some issues here. It's not that expensive, so. Okay, I think that'll work. So let's test it out. Let's see. So if I want to run the wheel back, I can. And I like to do things strangely, so if I want to run the wheel forward, I can do that.
so just so you guys don't make the same mistake I did I uh, rushed my little install here wasn't paying attention went to move it and my jack slid and I didn't know why and I was like oh man what's going on yeah so I didn't see these holes here when I put this on you gotta make sure these bolts are tight against this so I'm gonna fix that real quick and I'll be right back okay now I fixed it See, now they're tied up in there they really shouldn't move much and should be good to go so this time now we're out of here 